In the Sporting's Health Watch, dietary supplements. Americans spent nearly $27 billion on them last year. But do they work? And most importantly, are they safe? A new Consumer Reports investigation finds 12 of them could actually cause more harm than good. So to help you avoid them, Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here this morning with the results of that study and some really important information. I had no idea these were so popular in this country. Widely popular. This is a multi-billion dollar industry, of course, Erica. And the important thing, as you just said, is number one, do they work? And number two, are they safe? Those two things go hand in hand. And for any treatment, whether you're talking about a supplement or a prescription medication, the benefits have to outweigh any risks. There are always risks, and that's what you and have to look at. And some of these risks are, are obviously significant, otherwise we wouldn't have the support. Exactly. So let's take a look at like the top three, basically, that you have outlined here that are really dangerous. Okay, to and we're reports. talking here about weight loss supplements. So again, a lot of people looking to natural or perceived natural supplements to help them lose weight, and three that are purported to do so. One is called Chaparral. Mm -hmm thought and known to be to produce liver and kidney damage. The other one, bitter orange, and something called country mallow. These have been linked to heart problems, anywhere from irregular heartbeat to stroke to death. Oof. So again, when you talk about reaching for something that's thought to help you lose weight, you need to know what the reported side effects and risks could so be. So those were weight loss. There's also kava kava, which a lot of people turn to to relieve anxiety or menopause. This is banned. It's banned in Germany, in Canada, Canada and Switzerland. Absolutely. And we have not yet done that. But this has been linked to serious liver problems, Erica. Hepatitis, cirrhosis, liver failure, sometimes necessitating liver transplantation. People should not take this. And they should look carefully at the ingredients of any supplements they're taking to see if that could be in so it. So when I hear these potential side effects, it, it, the obvious question is, how and, and when are these drugs being, these supplements rather, being regulated? Well, there was an act passed in 1994 called the Dietary Supplement Act, and basically what that said is the FDA does not need to attest to a product's safety or efficacy before it comes to market. It put the onus of responsibility on these supplement manufacturers, who of course you would think would want their products to be safe. But what that means is that these products are really only heavily studied once they're on the shelf. So people should look for this label called the USP seal. Okay. It's a nonprofit independent organization to help to verify its safety. But again, yeah, discuss rather than... these with your doctor and be careful. Yeah, and don't be the guinea pig for the testing that's done Definitely after they come to market. Not. Jen, thanks. Always good to have you yeah. with us.